Governor Jared Polis issued another executive order this week, this time to create the Office of Saving People Money on Health Care. In our Capital Watch tonight, News 5's Allison Zimmerman breaking down what it means and the impact we could see here at home. Allison. Ron Elizabeth, the legislature is introducing a bill to come up with the $247,000 to fund the office. Polis says the goal of the office is simple, to reduce health care costs. Some of that will be done through bills already in the works. If there's any one thing, uh, I think uh, the solution would be a lot simpler. For a complex problem, Governor Jared Polis says he wants to at least keep the name of his newly created office simple. First announced in his State of the State address today, he gave the signature to create the Office of Saving People Money on Health Care. I don't think there's any silver bullet. I don't think there's any one thing that if we only did this, it would solve it. I think we have to look comprehensively. Here at home, Peak Vista Community Health Center sees patients who, in many cases, don't have their own insurance. Uh, most of them are working individuals. They're just having to make really hard decisions between um, paying for a prescription or paying for gasoline to make it to work. Among some of the solutions the governor will work with lawmakers on for health care costs include importing prescription drugs from Canada, providing more transparent measures for health care providers, and looking at additional options for care in the state. With the possible changes, it could have an impact on local care services. Whether the, the model of payment changes, we, we still want to be here for the community. Lieutenant Governor Diane Primavera, who is a cancer survivor, will be leading the office. The governor says she'll spend a fair amount of time on it, and in addition to her duties as Lieutenant Governor. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Allison Zimmerman, News 5.